Welcome back to The Real. I am Nadine and this is Husband. Hello, Jason here. And we just want to say thank you to all our faithful subscribers. And if you are new with us, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Well, today's video is all about... Who you date is not who you marry. Okay? We are here today to, at worst, <laughs> warn you. No, 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 no. At worst, we're here to save you from possible danger. At best, we're here just to warn you. All right, so people you may know, <laughs> while you're dating, things are good. Things are going well. Everyone's happy on both sides. By and large, you may have some fights. Uh, but if you make it through the dating stage with someone uh, that you deem important enough to go on to the next level, right. usually you've worked out most kinks. <laughs> the problem is the person you think you're about to live happily ever after with is likely not the person you think you're going to live happily ever after with. Meaning? <laughs> <laughs> shade. It's a lot of shade going on no, in this it's, room. It's quite bright in here. You know, okay. Not, not all the lights. Okay. So meaning this, I want you to think about this analogy. When you go for a job interview or when a person goes for a job interview, you right. put your best foot forward. They'll ask you questions. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? And everyone is going to answer in a way, if they want the job anyway, that makes them seem the best. They're going to maybe embellish things, right. uh, maybe tell some stories as to them getting to work on time or being a great team player um, <laughs> or something of that nature. But then after you hire them, you're like, is this the same person that I... You know, and some of the things will be the same. You know, obviously what's on the resume, some of your experience may be the same, but there may be some little things that you're like, but I thought you were this or you were that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll give an example because mm -hmm. someone says I'm being shady, so I'm going to tell on myself a little bit. <laughs> uh, uh, before I marry this young lady, she may have thought I was a bit neater than I am. Um, and she's come to discover that because of how busy I am sometimes, I'm I'm not as neat as I could be. I just uh, get going and I'm just like, all right, whatever, whatever. Next day, whatever, 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 you know, whatever the case is. And she's like, um, Tootie, you need to clean up. So she thought she was getting one thing and she didn't get it. That is an example of who you date not being who you marry. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> Thanks. If, if nothing else I say in the whole video is true, that's true. Thank you for sharing that. I wasn't going to throw you under the bus it's at okay. all. The but the 609 the runs right through here. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> and this is the real, so we have to it's keep real. it real. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. I guess for me personally, I would say it's not that um, that person is hiding their true mm -hmm. self mm -hmm. or that person is not truly who they seems to be when you're dating, I would say is that you're truly getting to know that person right, right. once you live with them. Right. Um, because you can be dating someone and not really seeing them for who they really are. Because again, we all have that mass up. Uh, and some people may not have a mass up. Correct. But you truly don't see that person for who they really are until you live with them. Right? <laughs> until you live with them. And then that's when you get to really know that individual. So like some of our bad habits, you're right. not going to see that dating that individual. Correct? Yep, that's, you're gonna, that's it. Yeah, you're going to see it. like, And you could be dating that person, honestly, for like 10 years and still don't really know, no, 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 that person until you live with that person. That's when you get to know who they truly are. So I I don't know if I really want to say that, you know, they're, they're faking or they're putting their best with forward per se yes yeah, somewhat sort of kind of but i just think that is that you really don't know someone fully mm. until you live with them would you not say that okay so very good so let, let's Thank introduce you. some caveats because the truth of the matter is um it's not always intentional it can be unintentional correct um, 
I I want to say 99.9% .9 of the people would not get into a relationship based solely on deception or, or mm. uh, be desiring to marry someone and just trying to deceive them. Right. Um, right. But there is some form of deception there, like you're saying about uh, habits or things of that nature, mm. not intentionally, but unintentionally. Um, and I'm going to put it another way too. During the courting stage or the dating stage, yeah. uh, there is a desire to get the other person or to mm. be with the other person. Um, that if you're not careful after you get married, I'm not going to say it goes away, but it can wane. Mm -hmm. um, and so where you used to get flowers weekly, yeah, you may not get flowers as, as frequently. Uh, right. Where you go out to restaurants or date nights. Right. If if the couple is not being intentional, intentional about it, about it, it can change. And so that right. is still another example of how... Right who you marry is not going to be, who you date is not going to be who you marry. So you're thinking this person that takes you out. And this is another caveat. This is not <laughs> the truth for everyone. All right. This Correct. is a, a broad brush we're painting with here mm. when we say this. Okay. There may be some people that are exactly who they are, who they say they are after, before, after, whatever mm. the case is. I'm pretty sure there's going to be at least one thing that'll surprise you. Like, oh, I didn't yeah, know that. Exactly. Um, and then over time, a person changes too. We, 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 yeah. Especially if you get married younger, I think. Mm -hmm. People aren't really set in their ways yet. They're still learning about themselves, their likes, their dislikes. As you get older, it's a little easier because people kind of know who they are by that point. Right. Know what they stand for, whatever the case is. Uh, but then there's always those midlife crisis <laughs> that can change people too. So. That is, that's true. <laughs> that is true. So I guess um, it is true. It is true, not in a negative way, but Correct. it doesn't have to be a negative. Exactly, it, um, who you date is not truly who you marry because right. you truly don't know that person until you marry them and you're living with them, Correct. and that's and when yeah, and you're living with them. Um, that's when you truly get to know that individual and um, the things that you may not have seen. While you're dating, you start to see those things. And, um, you know, I mean, for some people, they may be really surprised and say, well, I didn't know that about you. Or I didn't know you had that habit. Or I didn't know you snore. <laughs> I didn't know you leave the water bottle um, under the bed. <laughs> yeah. Under the bed. Or, you know, I didn't know you just throw your underwears right over there you know because again you 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 haven't lived with that Correct. individual before Correct. so you don't know that so i would say um be open be open and not hold your soon to be spouse um at um Face value. Exactly. Thank you. At face value. Don't hold them to that. Um, it's not that a lot of people are faking and when you get married, you start seeing the difference. Well, you're truly getting to know that person once you get married and you're living with them. You're truly getting to know that. So just be open and be a little bit more understanding. And, you know, like sometimes, and I would say because I'm probably, I'm probably guilty of... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I'm probably no. guilty. <laughs> I'm probably guilty of saying, um, that's not. I, I I didn't know you were like that before we got married. Mm -hmm. Or you know, I was expecting you to be um a little bit more spontaneous and more adventurous and Never. stuff like you that. You know, I may be guilty of saying that, but the truth of the matter is, my husband has always been the person that he is today. And when I look at it and say, well, yeah, he was trying to woo me. But when I truly look back, he was not as crazy <laughs> as, um, as I thought. I can now look back and say, well, yeah, I guess I just thought he was someone different because he was trying to woo me and I was caught up in him wooing me. <laughs> I wasn't seeing, you know, the true him. And that's also, I think a lot of time we are so caught up into, exactly, we're blinded by love that we truly don't see 
the individual until you move in and not that you fall out of love with them. Absolutely not. Because I think I believe that and I know that I love my husband more today than I did when we just met. Um, but I think it's just something you, you starting to get to know that person and not the person that you have created, you know, or the person that you think that you see, um, when you're dating, you're truly starting to get to know that person. So I would just say, again, be open-minded. And yes, that person is going to change once you get married. And don't be scared. We all are going to change. And 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 also probably not changing again, sweetie. Like I said, it's probably just getting being, to know them more. Right, getting yeah, to know them more and, and letting our guard down. That's Ooh. what I was going to say. <laughs> Go ahead. Deal with that. So it's definitely <laughs> a matter of comfort as well mm. um. <laughs> so the more comfortable you are with someone the more you will be likely <laughs> to do things or show them parts of you that they may not have previously known about so, exactly that's true oh, wait wait I'm, gonna, no, I'm just i just i was gonna give an example to the guys but i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it out uh, but no, yes. but this is the real, sweetie. We want to keep it real. Uh, is it something? I mean, as long as it's not exposing. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna leave it alone. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do it. That's okay. okay. Um, but I, I know, and this is not the case for my wife. I know that there are many memes out there and jokes out there of uh, guys getting married and seeing the woman the next morning, like, oh. We oh. didn't know that. Um, <laughs> that may not be the case with you. Right. You may just think she's the most beautiful person all the time. Um, otherwise, not the case for my wife. Of course uh, not. Because I tell her she doesn't need makeup, <laughs> exactly. but she still wears it. But we're not going to get it. We're not going to get into that. Um, but yeah, it it it's it can be little things like that. As a person gets more comfortable, um, they may show you. They will show you who they are a little bit more. They'll exactly. they'll act a fool a little bit more, right. or or giggle and play around maybe right. um, or be more serious maybe or quiet more quiet than you thought they were or, or more outgoing or less outgoing than you correct. thought that they were so correct i i totally agree with that and you know like you just said something um be more outgoing or be more quiet and that just brought me back to something that we have talked about a lot on this channel communication yeah. and um yeah. that i will tell you <laughs> will be the um be at the forefront of your relationship mm -hmm. um, communication because like husband just said, sometimes they may be quiet. And when a guy is wooing you, he is not quiet most of the time. Most of them are not quiet. And they may have a quiet nature, but because they want you and men are naturally hunters, right? So you will see that huh? natural, naturally. Okay, good. <laughs> hunters you will see that side of them but once you get married to them they may be more reserved and quiet and that also you may say to them like wait you were more talkative and more you know out there when you're trying to get me but it's not that he has changed is that he was trying to get you. He was try a hunter and that's what they do. You know, he was trying to get what he wants. So of course he's going to up it all up and you know, the best part of them is going to come out, but um, it's not that he has changed. It's just uh, like I said, he, you know, just, I, I, I guess a hunter after they finish, um, after they get their prey, they just, become more reserved or they chill yeah. out for yeah. a little while right yeah, absolutely and for that communication they they won't communicate as much because i will say most guys and not all but most guys are not big communicators uh-huh once you get into a whole other topic we're gonna do it another time Jim. okay all right i'll leave that alone then we, there we, we go yeah we're gonna okay. talk about communication communication is one of those big things about marriage um but that's another segment. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're saying I was going all the way yeah, back. Yeah, you started start to go. <laughs> you was touching it, and then you was just swimming in it. All right. <laughs> Listen, I can swim. I'm from the islands. <laughs> We're going to leave you all with that. All right? We're going to leave, leave you all with that uh, enough to ponder on. Uh, and think about it. You know, a great thing that Nadine said is 
the love, the love can blind you. Love is blind, as they always say. And sometimes you can think, oh, this person is so great and magical. Like she said, we create our, our spouse in our heads. And sometimes we can't see red flags or um, things that may not be red flags, but just different aspects about them. And you hear all the time, oh, he changed after we got married or she right. changed after we got married. And right. you brought up a good point. Maybe it's not that they changed. You just couldn't see it or exactly. didn't see it. So. Uh, try to be sober when evaluating your your spouse. You know, it's it's hard to get out of that lovey-dovey mm-hmm. stage and actually see them. But, you know, ask some hard questions. I think that's the we got to yeah. talk about that another day. Yeah. Ask real questions. You know, you're going out for these dinners and all these dates and stuff. And you ask all these superficial questions. There's some things that you really should have conversations about exactly. before you say, I'm going to tie the knot with this person. Exactly. And and um, like you said, the hard questions, they're very important. And um, don't, don't just let it be because the guy is very handsome and um, may bring home a lot of money and drive the best car. Um, listen, that's not everything. After you get married, like, that's just, huh, okay? Okay. You have to start dealing with the real, real, okay? And all of that doesn't matter. So, like, if I can caution you, don't just look at that. Look at the person for who they truly are and look deep inside. And I would say, you know, if you have a village around you, let your village encourage you and ask your village those hard questions that you really don't want to hear the answer to, but you really need it before you marry that person. And just ask your village and a thing I was saying, I think I have said this in one of my video, and if you know anything about me, you know, make sure you pray about them and pray and ask God to truly show you that individual that you're going to marry. Because you know what? You don't want to say, oh my God, this person have changed. And again, it's not that they have changed. It's because you haven't did your research or your homework to truly see who that person was or were before you got married to them. Okay, was. Thank you. Listen, he's here. (laughs) Helping me with my grammar. Thank you, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Um, That person truly was before you got married to them. And again, listen, you have to make sure that the person that you are going to marry is truly that individual that you have ask God for, not someone that you have made up because uh, we're not going to go there because I know as females, we like to create our husband before <laughs> um, we even see them. We have an idea and we know what we want and we create them. And every guy we date, most female, every guy we date, we make them our husband before they even ask us to date us. But I digress. Anything else from you, dear? We are going to leave it at that. Uh, So we thank you for joining us. Thank you for being a part of this very important topic. Hopefully you got something out of this. And uh, if you have questions, if um, you have inquiries, you can contact either of us. Yes. uh, Those that know us, uh, those that don't, you can, you know, leave your question down here in the comment section. And we'll get back to you. Yeah. Yeah. I will say thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. And again, thank you for watching us. And may the good Lord bless you. (laughs) Amen. Take care. Mm -hmm.